the right time and here's the luck, or maybe had the foresight to start the companies at the right time to capture that change and ride that momentum. Yeah, I, I think also of Dropbox and, and Box. Yeah, I mean, 100%. Um, you know, the, the, that was because of the mobile phone. The, right, exactly. And, and the huge file transfers. And, and so let me ask you this. If someone's out there and they're like, God, how do I stay ahead of this? Because things are yeah. changing so fast and the trends, mm -hmm. you don't know what's going to happen five years from now. Is there some kind of framework for, yeah. for like staying relevant because mm -hmm. things are mm -hmm. changing? I mean, change is the only constant now, it seems. Yeah. This is the way that I do it. And this is how I think about starting companies or products or things like that is that I am spending time looking and they're obvious. It's not like you have to go looking very far, but looking at the big changes that are happening in the world and when they are becoming normal, meaning like your, your, you know, your family and your friends, people outside of this world would think that they were normal and defaulting to them. And then I look at that change and then I look at whatever arena that I'm I'm focused on. In my case, it's marketing and sales, revenue generation. I've always focused there. Well, how's the world going to change because now messaging is normal? How's the world going to change because now everyone expects everything to look to act like like Uber or Lyft or or any of these on demand services, like the, where I can buy anything twenty four seven three sixty five from anywhere? Well, how is marketing and sales going to change because that's the new normal? That's what's normal now. It's not because my software made it normal. It's already normal. People consider it normal. So I use that to kind of figure out, can we resegment a market? And so I would advise other people, just look at the changes that are happening all over the world. We have another massive change that's happening, which is more and more of the, the power is moving from companies and the suppliers, and it's moving to the hands of 